one of the founding members of the New World Order. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, representing the Outsiders from Miami, Florida, weighing in at 280 pounds, the WCW United States Champion, Scott Hall. No finesse, just pure brawling ability. Scott Hall comes to fight and to hurt his opponent. Who can forget this man's immortal quote? Hard work pays off, dreams come true. Bad times don't last, but bad guys do. Well, I'm pretty sure Scott Hall is about to cause some bad times for his opponent. And his opponent standing. Seven feet tall, weighing in at 500 pounds. You know, this person takes some pride in their work, but who could blame them? Few are as gifted in the ring as this performer. Wow, you are laying it on thick, Saxton. Don't worry, I'm sure they'll hear you when they watch this match 10 times before bed tonight. The look of focus and determination on his face. He wants to show the world that he can compete on this high level. You know, guys, I still don't know how this guy got this match against the champion. Well, I think he's earned the match, Michael, but seems like some people don't think he's earned the title shot quite yet. Yeah, we'll see how this goes, and maybe he'll prove everyone wrong. And he's going to have to deal with the bad guy himself. One of the toughest men on God's green earth. All spot demons that would break a lesser man. But against all odds, he's still here. Through the highs and lows, Hall would be the first to tell you, bad times don't last, but bad guys do. It's more than his smarts and his strength that make Hall a tough Chico. It's resilience that makes him special. Give up now. Oh, the bear hug. And a way to get out of it is being on display right here. Oh, oh my gosh. Got him set up in the corner of the ring. Boom. Scott is in command right now. A smothering offense from Hall here. Scott Hall is the biggest strong superstar, but it's also his devil-may-care attitude that makes him such a dangerous competitor. Corey, how do you match up with someone like that? Well, you don't try to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with him, that's for sure, Cole. But with all that in mind, Hall's the kind of guy who can get a little too cocky. A smart competitor will capitalize on that. Ooh, saw it coming and hit him with a shot to the face. Wrenches the arm. Ooh, nasty kick. Oh, a spinning heel kick. Carefully placed stomp to the arm. Oh, look at this aggression, just oh, pure brutality. Come on, easy. Drop that bow. He is just reeling from that offense. That was Hall once again effortlessly asserting his dominance. Right to the ribs. And Hall asking, who? Saving us from having to sit through that. And just eating a knee on the reversal. Dominating shoulder tackle. Attacks. Scott Hall sending his opponent up. And that stops whatever Hall had intended. Tensions remain high as this rivalry goes on. Talk about an understatement, Cole. Tensions aren't just high. Guards are up. Battle lines are drawn. This isn't just affecting these competitors. The rest of the locker room has found themselves seemingly in the middle of this. Everyone has to choose a side, gentlemen. Can I choose the side of putting an end to all of this? Absolutely not. Looking for the victory! He's still got more left in the tank. 
And countouts are legal, so hopefully this will be a short trip outside. My goodness! Oh, hold on. Is he thinking of a submission here? Both jockeying for the advantage. Oh, what? Stays out of harm's way. Yeah, I don't want anything to do with this opponent, but... Uh, you're not getting very far. Oh, ho, ho. perfectly laid trap. The superstar was lured into the trap. Now this is only going to heighten the intensity of this matchup. Oh man, that was nasty. They weren't that good looking anyway. Inverted atomic drop. Boom. Introducing a boot to the face. Great wherewithal on the counter. Setting foot in the ring now. He's going for the pin. This could be it. End to the pay window. He's on the ropes, and the ref wisely stops the count. Ooh, the arm taking the brunt of that. He's running on empty right now. Maybe just stay down, man. You've done enough. The showstopper. Elbow. Whoa, not quite yet. Scott Hall, right where he wants it, because we're about to see the down. One more for the bad guy. Hit. Hall put a stamp on this one. He manages to kick out. What strength. Unbelievable presence of mind. I thought he was unconscious. But Hall is not one to let that throw him off his game. He's only throttling up now. These superstars have endured so much punishment. Certainly looking worse for wear, but the tide can shift at any moment. STO! Able to get the advantage here. Here we go. You ready for it? Is there anything left to cover? And they're still in this! There was absolutely no way the bad guy was gonna stay down like that. Far too much fight in a guy like Scott Hall. I can't tell if it's anger in the eyes or the fact that he hasn't finished this or if it's displayed. Oh, There's the line up. Ref get ready to raise his hand. Makes a cover! And that's it. The blood and sweat put into this match. Well worth it. Here is your winner. They might not be in the best shape right now, but they have to be feeling good after that win. I'll give them one thing. They definitely know how to take a beating. I wouldn't exactly call the cheap shot they took a beating, but I'll agree that their resilience paid off here. It's a hostile takeover! The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, representing the Outsiders from Detroit, Michigan, weighing in at 328 pounds, Kevin Nash! Byron, who can forget? Bash at the Beach, 1996, the formation of the NWO. The entire world of sports entertainment, Corey, was turned on its head. They were shocked. It was a surreal scene, and that charge was led by Kevin Nash and Scott Hall. A competitor who always has his game face on, ready for a major battle.
this man is the powerhouse of the Hart family. And his opponent, representing the Hart Foundation from Reno, Nevada, weighing in at 281 pounds, Jim the Anvil Neidhart. The Anvil said tonight he will arrive hungry and leave no man untested. Uh, what does that actually mean? Trust me, if you have to ask, you don't deserve to know. If Brett was the mind of the Hart Foundation, Anvil was the fist. You're absolutely right, Cole. He is just as responsible as Brett is for the Hart Foundation's tag title accolades. It's time to come hungry and leave no man untested. Jim, the Anvil, Nightheart is here. Dominating strength, one of the greatest powerhouses in the history of this business. A multi-time champion and a WWE Hall of Famer. Grit your teeth because the Anvil packs a punch that's almost as big as his personality. A true legend of the ring in action here tonight. And with a guy like Kevin Nash, you know that he cares about getting the win at any cost. He gets paid to dominate his opponent, Saxton, and dominate he does. Huge toss. Ooh, what a nasty kick. Insulting. Oh, the world's strongest flag for the win. Right now, I just don't know what it's going to take. Off. Oh, Flapjack. Gosh. Landing face first. Suplex. Oh. Here it comes. Nicely done. Boom. Running STO. Plants him. Nicely done. Nash climbs. What's on his mind? On the top. Whoa. Look out. You want to talk about putting it all on the line. Always an extra risk when you dive ringside. Face Buster. Plants him. Facing the anvil is no small task. How do you come away with a win against an athlete as powerful as him? Jim Neidhart is indeed an athlete. But think of his pre-WWE background. Shot put, football. These are sports that required short, concentrated bursts of energy. You need to grind this out and force the anvil to tire out. And Nash didn't see that coming. Back and forth, back and forth, looking for the advantage here. trying to fight his way out of the bear hug. Can he do it? Yes. Close line. The anvil firing up, feeding off the energy in this match. Shoulder tackle. Hoping to end it here. He breaks the ref's count before two. It's hard to believe, but it looks like he still has some gas left in the tank. He switches it back around. Take down. Jarring impact. That dominant style of Nash is getting challenged there. Yeah, the end will just showcase that raw strength. A ripping and tearing at the face. Big knee, and right between the shoulder blades. Kevin Nash about to establish his dominance. What a powerball. Nash has Cover. him on Dream Street. Referee stops the count on the ropes. Uh-oh, this is just vicious. No, no. My God. Oh, that'll break his arm. Vicious. Kevin Ash is rubbing salt in his opponent's wounds now. Oh, what a nasty knee lift. What the leg? Look at this. He just tossed the leg. 
right in the jaw. Oh, what a shot. My goodness. goodness. Gracious. Everything's working against Neidhart now. Jim the Anvil Neidhart having trouble grinding this one out. Starting to get tired. Ouch. That's one way to get your opponent out of the corner. Uh-oh. Low right into a chop block. Debilitating counter. This is not going to end well for Nash's opponent. Nash put it. He's going for the pin. This could be it. He put him away. He picks up the win. Here is your winner, Kevin Nash. And he certainly proved himself a superstar to watch with this one. And that was another big win for Big Sexy. Kevin Nash. And that's why they pay you the big bucks, Byron. They are ready for battle. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, accompanied by the Superstar. From Houston, Texas, weighing in at 251 pounds, the Superstar. Everyone in this match is competing at such a high level. I predict one of the most competitive matches we've seen in a very long time. Yeah. A very high pressure situation ahead for this guy, but he is more than ready for it. And his opponent from Venice Beach, California, weighing in at 250 pounds, the Icon. Matches like these with talent of this caliber, this is why sports entertainment is in art form. This is a match he's craved for quite some time. He's ready and raring to go. And you can sense the anger emanating from the competitor tonight. Eyes like a blazing fire. This is a man you don't want to be in front of right now. He's a man possessed is what he is. But he'll be facing someone who has been looking for a challenging fight for quite some time now. Hopefully... Uh-oh. He just barely dodges. Mm. Paying it 
right back with a reversal. These two having an answer for everything. Big knee to the midsection. Boom, right across the small of the back. Oh, walloped by a huge club. Big leg drop. Looking wobbly in the corner. Crushed in the corner. And now he's controlling the pace of this one. He's looking relentless. Oh! He leaves the ring, but he could lose this match by countout. And now gets tossed into the ring. Heavy body shots. Whipped hard. What a clothesline. And now he's really falling behind. He's just on the wrong side of every maneuver. Big leg drop. He's absorbing some tough hits now. This is where endurance becomes so important in the late... Uh-oh. Booking! Good job. Oh, you're stole from Rock. Three, no, a two count. Somehow, someway, escapes defeat. Still alive. I can see it in the eyes from here. Disbelief. Unbelievable how this one is still going on. Wicked kick to the lower back. And he's really gotten into his zone right now. Yeah, he is staying steady and ferocious. Knee right to the gut. Boom! Headed to the top rope. Launching. Good lord! In flight. And after that, you know things have just kicked up a notch. Pedal to the metal right now. Wrenching the arm. DDT. Bam. And he throws the opposition back into the ring. There he goes, right into the corner. And some effective offense with that one. Down to Bonin. And a double axe handle smash. Punching their way out of that one. Whack! Oh, God. He's absorbed some damage already. The leg drop combo. If you're getting a victory like that, you gotta be feeling pretty good about yourself. To quote a pair of awesome scholars, in life, there are winners and there are losers. We are looking at a winner right now. One of the all-time greats, the Hall of Famer, Latino Heat. The following is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from El Paso, Texas, weighing in at 228 pounds, Eddie Guerrero. Oh, the ref better have their head on a swivel because they're going to earn their paycheck tonight. 
Well, I'm pretty sure the entire WWE Universe is going to get their money's worth tonight. You feel the heat? Well, Eddie Guerrero was always seen as an underdog. Granted, he would cheat on occasion to even the playing field. But hey, how can he not get behind a guy like Latino Heat? And his opponent from New York City, weighing in at 290 pounds, Brad Shaw. Gentlemen, I think this one's going to turn into a fight in a hurry, and I cannot wait. Lock up against Eddie Guerrero, defending against Guerrero family values or uh, well, lack thereof. Now this is a superstar coming into this one with a major chip on his shoulder. Feels like he's not gotten the respect from the division that he's deserved lately. Yeah, but respect has to be earned in matches like this, not just handed out. If he can prove himself here, maybe he will get the respect he believes he deserves. Gonna have to dig down deep here tonight. And on the other end, we know Guerrero is not concerned about rules or sportsmanship, but he needs to be careful. Those dastardly deeds could come back and bite him. A crafty veteran with an insane ring IQ. Eddie has the expertise in suckering an opponent in a less than ideal situation. Arm drag. Strong Whoa. kick. My goodness. And a well-executed move we just saw there. Snapmare right across the face. Oh. Man. Dodges the attack just a smidge quicker. DDT! Oh. He may get the three count right here! I think so! Almost ended it there. How in the world did he kick out? If you either want to pose in Eddie Guerrero tonight, Corey, what do you focus on to score the victory in this match? You need to adapt to Guerrero's playbook, which is a complete lack of a rule book. Be aware when he's willing to... This could be it! Cover for the win! And a strong kick out in one. Kicking out now sends a very clear message. Planning on what to do next. Up and over, all the way to the floor. Uh-oh. Took him out of the knee. Whoa, stiff headbutt. He's getting a huge boost right now from all those champ. Okay, consider that a harsh lesson. Now he's been put on the defensive. And he sends him into the corner. He saw that one coming. Quick thinking pays off. Caught with a DDT. Look at the height. Oh, splash. 
Will any make it pay off? Oh, not yet. They just got the shoulder up. I thought once he executed that, it was good night. You have to wonder, how much more can he take? And we know Eddie must be feeling desperate right now, unsure of how much more he needs to do. Carefully placed stomp to the arm. He turns it around. This will do it if it connects. Here we go. He thinks he has it. No, Eddie Guerrero says not yet. Good Lord, scarily close to three. Oh, and a wicked clothesline. Eddie's in a bad spot. Try to end it. Oh, he gets the shoulder up before three. Incredible kick out from Guerrero. Eddie clinging on to life in this match. I can see it in the eyes from here. Disbelief. Unbe from the top. Whoa, what a landing. Taken out from high above. You got to be some special kind of crazy to do that. Ooh. A jumping stop to the gut. Turned inside out with a desperation clothesline. Knee strike connects. He climbs into the ring. Placed into the corner. Caught with a clothesline. Stomping out. And Eddie absolutely without an answer to that effective bit of offense. Well, all things considered, Cole, it's not a bad condition to be in at this point in the match. Eddie Guerrero just mocking his opponent now. Oh, he grew tired of his smug attitude. Look at this heel hook. This is how you punish your opponent, and he's enjoyed every minute of it. Short clothesline hits its mark. You can see it in these superstars' faces. They're in serious pain at the moment. A lot of punishment has been dished out, but no one is thinking about quitting. And the momentum is shifting away from Eddie. Guerrero has been deterred from stealing this match thus far. From the top, elbow drop. The adrenaline is pumping, and the WWE Universe is on his side. In control here with a swinging neck breaker. Textbook. Oh, a wicked clothesline. Does he have a win in hand now? Cover. And a win. That may be one of the biggest wins of his career. Here is your winner, Brad. And the celebration's underway. I don't care if it's your fifth victory or your 5,000th. As he's showing right now, nothing matters more here in WWE than having your name called and your arm raised. The superstar anxiously awaiting the arrival of their opponent. And oh, not even waiting for their opponent to get inside the ring. This just speaks to how much bad blood exists between these two. And the referee trying to restore some semblance of order, but the damage has been done. Well, clearly, the advantage goes to the one who initiated the attack. Well, thankfully, the official able to get things under control, and this superstar is going to go at it despite the attack. Finally, this match is officially underway, and the intensity is incredibly high as evidence of the way this match started. But should we really be going through with this match after what happened before the bell? Well, if you want to go stand in the way of these superstars, go for it. From where I'm sitting, it doesn't look like there's any stopping them. 
Oof. Oh, this is just disrespectful. And an elbow drop for added measure. Point of the elbow finds the mark. Oh! Sharp knee. Great wherewithal on the counter. Uh-oh. Jawbreaker! Call the dentist. Taking a trip outside, but he's got to be mindful of the count. All the way up, and the crash landing powerbomb. Picture perfect example for when you just want to put someone down with authority. And Austin's plans fail there. Got to find a way to get out of this. Oh, bang! Face first! After that attack on the apron, there is no way we're seeing them leave this arena without medical assistance. Uh-oh! Hogan getting out of harm's way. And both athletes showing that they have each other's number. Driven into the barricade. If there's one thing we know, Corey, it's that Hollywood Hulk Hogan plays by a different set of rules. In fact, he pretty much throws out the rule book altogether. Absolutely. But even if he's donning the black and white, he's still the immortal Hulk Hogan. Hollywood can win this by the book or by throwing the rule book out. He beats the count and this one continues. He's lost some of his win now. He can do it here. And he manages to kick out in one. Channeling his energy to stay in this matchup. Producing a trampling. Just using their foot as a weapon. So ruthless. Hollywood Hogan. Cover, cover. Going to take a lot more than that to keep this man down. You know, what we're seeing in the ring is about so much more than just this match. That's right. For a while now, there's been some extremely bad blood stewing between these superstars. And now it's bubbling over before our eyes inside the ring. Big, big back body drop. What elevation. Punched him right in the mouth. Relentless. Oh, right to the face. My God. Big plans in mind from Austin. Perched up top. Johnny Nidra. He must have seen that coming. Oh, close line. Here he goes for the win. And that'll finally do it. What a victory. Here is your winner, Stone Cold Steve Austin! So chalk up a win for them in this match, and I think it's safe to say it's all thanks to that fairly vicious attack we saw. After a loss like this, under these circumstances, I have to think it brews more bad blood here. Yeah, the word revenge comes to mind, but all that will have to wait for another day. This superstar has been waiting a long, long time for this match. And here comes his opponent. I think we've all been waiting for this match. I want to see these two get it on. What? what? Wait a second. Oh, wait a second. His right turn around. Uh-oh. What are they doing here? This isn't going to be pretty. <laughs> now we can get this match started. 
They wanted nothing to do with this match here tonight. Yeah, this competitor has been running scared, trying to avoid confrontation. Bad blood to kick things off in this one as the bell sounds and things are officially underway. I'm not even sure how we got here, guys. Is there any way we can get past this? Well, usually I'd say they just need to fight it out, but the way things are going, Saxton, that doesn't look like it's going to make things any better. In fact, guys, they may even just get worse before they get better. A second one! Oh! Oh, oh look at the well-placed elbow right on the mark. Bruising attack to the stomach. Getting tossed. With the Lariat. Getting him into the corner. Saw that one coming, took advantage. Hurled away, God. Just got thrown around like a sack of you know what. Now look at this aggression, just oh, pure brutality. Come on, easy. Look, the most intelligent competitor in a battle knows that there are many roads to victory, including the low road. Oh, Ram fake quickly to cover. Oh, my, how in the world did he kick out of that? He is certainly sending a message, getting his shoulder up before two. Effectively using the knee. Returning fire. Oh, and a big boot. He heads outside. Countouts legal in this match. This one is hit. Yes, he didn't come here to watch him boast and taunt. Oof. Ow. Loving blow to the chest. And he tosses him back in now. Of the neck. Left an opening and got a kick to the face. Ah, oh, gets cracked by the overhand. Choke slam! He thinks he has it. Manages to escape before the three count. Just barely, but it counts. Insults have been hurt. Makes the cover. Kick out at one. And those kickouts are only going to get hard. Oh, man. Oh. Keeping him in position. Here it comes. Full slash. Looking for more damage here. Ow. At least back suplex. It wasn't the height or distance that caused the damage, but they certainly contributed. Oh, look at this. The power. Guys, I think this one's over. What the heck? Are you kidding me? No way! Inverted DDT! Lights out. Launch out to the outside! Voting right now. Taking a trip outside, but he's got to be mindful of the count. Not the position you want to be in right now. My goodness! Oh. And then look at that! Oh! Loving blow. Had that one scouted. Caught with a lariat. He's in a little bit of trouble now. Not a bad place to be in, but the longer this goes, the more trouble a superstar exposes himself to. He's staring his opponent down, getting into that zone. 
Popped up. No way. Yes way. What power. Spiked him. Caught him flush. And he is saved by the ropes. Oh, look at this. Just cranking the head. That's got to hurt. Crank in the head. Drop in the leg. Ooh, DDT delivered. He's executing on his plan perfectly. You can tell he is holding nothing back. <laughs> what power. One of the best to ever do that move. Shoulders down. Ah, oh, finally got him. I can't believe this match is finally over. Here is your winner. You hate to see it after a hard-fought match. They just couldn't seem to shut them up in this one. It looks like the lack of respect will continue on for now. This is what I've been telling you and Saxton all along, Cole. It doesn't have to be pretty as long as you win. Sure, they were disrespectful earlier on. They won. In fact, it was that mindset that most likely drove them to win. So much bad blood here. Wasting little time to get this thing started. Here we go. These two are at it. The bell hasn't even rung yet. The official needs to get control. The official doing their best. And maybe we will get some semblance of control and a bell. Here we go. Well, they didn't want to wait for the bell, but the referee finally got things under control. It's obvious the issues between these two are so deeply personal. Emotions running high in this highly anticipated match, but this match is now officially... Uh-oh, he could be looking for a submission here. Insuring back! Tearing down the leg now. And just like that, he said crashing to the floor. Heads out of the ring, what's next? Oh, look at that scope slam! He's getting fired up now, really feeding off this crowd. Ah, oh, flipping the script on him there. Rex. Uh-oh. Broken up with a fist to the face. Three. Start counting, Saxton. One, two, three. We could be here all day. Power. I think you're right. Rotating vertical suplex. Nicely done. Run out of ringside and back to the mat. Picture perfect drop kick. His shoulders are down. Oh, just inches, millimeters from a three count. That had to have been closer to three than he'd like. He got whipped into that corner right in the chest. What a drop kick. He's lost some of his win now. All measured up. Oh, from behind. That'll give you some whiplash. Look at him totally vibing with the WWE Universe right now. Got the knees up. What a punch. Rolling knee bar. After everything these two men have been through, Boot to the face will free him. Overhand shots and elbows and forearms striking at will. 
down to Bonin, and a double axe handle smash. He avoids the damage. Knee right to the gut. Cover! Stops the ref count before two. Fighting hard to stay in this match. Showing up their deadlifting prowess and just tossing them aside. He's absorbed some damage already. Superstars on fire. Pace begins to quicken. Unbelievable. Oh, Plants them. Wow. Belly in a belly. And we know for a fact that this is just not some casual matchup. Guys, this rivalry has seemingly reached critical mass. Well, I'd actually say it could be worse, Cole, but it's definitely not great as it is. The lack of respect these from the top. Oh, an elbow drop. Oh, it's a piercing elbow. Is it enough? Oh, what an elbow high on the chin. He's on his heels a bit now. They've definitely taken their lumps at this point. Their opponent is not messing around. And it's reverse pain for that mistake. Hooking it up here. What's next? Boom! Incredible suplex. Big forearm. Going right after the neck. It's a neck breaker. There you go, Cole. Turns it around. Oh, this is not good at all. The pendulum backbreaker stretch. Oh, oh, oh. He's positioning himself, closing in. Going for it. Going to step through. Well, on their belly. Unleashed might and full. And the ropes break this one up. Great ring awareness there. Up and down. Bomb. Not uh -oh. done yet. Uh -oh. Again? Uh -oh. Here he goes for the win. Can he close it out? It's unthinkable. Someone beating the one count at this point? Beautiful swinging neck breaker. Vicious right forearm. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Eats a punch to the face. And for the pin and the win. Yes. And he only stays down for a one count. You expect these pins to last much longer at this stage in the match. Big time power bomb. He's looking a little weary now. Well, all things considered, Cole, it's not a bad condition to be in at this point in the match. Crackle. Pop. Check out this power, ladies and gentlemen. Up it's and... Driven down with a jackhammer. Turn the lights out. Good night. Somehow he kicked out. Just an incredible wherewithal to get the shoulder up. Yeah, you would think he'd be out of it after taking that maneuver. How draining was that? Kept perched up top. Diving knee drop. Uh-oh. Well-placed punch, ugly, but effective response. Now's the time to find that second win. Find that rush of adrenaline to push you forward. Hurry, right, pump handle. Pump handle coming. Boom. Incredible suplex. And he is now in a discouraging spot. Yeah, and this has to decrease his composure moving forward. Down to Boom. Boom. And a double axe handle smash. 
Carefully measured knee drop. And the impact jars him in the late going. The end for him may be soon if he doesn't show more resistance here. And he slides him back to the mat. Oh, had that well scouted. He's trying. Going for it. Trying to step through. Roll on their belly. Submission hold in place. Wrenching a tap, tap, tap. He taps out. And this grueling match is now done. Here is your winner, Chris Eric. Oh, I didn't think they had it in them. No question they had to dig deep to get this win and shrug off all the damage taken earlier on. It took real courage to make it out the other side of that onslaught. I'll say, I almost thought all hope was lost at one point. Well, that's why you never back down. You never know when things might turn around.